Hi guys, it's Patty with Patty's Paper Design. How are you all this morning? Well, it's morning here. It is, let's see, it's 10, 10.22 here. Um, don't know what time it is where you're at. So anyway, I thought I would come on for just a little bit. No, let me see if we got enough light. We don't have enough light. Let me turn on the light. There we go. That's better. Okay. So, I thought I would come on for just a little bit here. Maybe not quite an hour. I want to... I want to share with you another uh, Shabby Dabby Doodah digital. Um, I printed these out quite a long time ago and uh, I just haven't gotten around to using them yet. But these are, I think on her website they're called Vintage Pockets. But anyway, there's eight different sets. And this is set one. Let me see, I got it upside down, I think. Okay, there we go. This is set one. So, set one comes with, I believe, four different pockets. There's those two. Oh no, it comes with eight. There's those two. And really, I had them up, I had them right side up to begin with, I guess. I just wrote on them upside down. And those two. Well, I was wrong again. There's six. So there's six different pockets. Aren't those pretty? And then um, she gives you a, a couple of pages of embellishments. So you've got this page and you have this page. And you can just embellish to your heart's desire. So with these six pockets and these two pages of embellishments, there's really endless, you know, endless things that you can do. You can come up with a, a ton of different combinations to create several unique designs on your pockets. And then once you get your pockets on your pages, you even have embellishments to decorate your pages as well. So um, that's set one. Here is set two. They're pink. At least I think they're mostly pink. Oh, we have some lavender. More lavender. And then we have more embellishments. Two more pages of beautiful embellishments. So we have this page. I love the cute little teapot. And then we have this page. And I love these flowers here. I think those are so pretty. So there again, we have several different combinations of embellishments. And you don't have to, you know, if you purchase each of these pockets, or even, you know, if you don't purchase all eight of them, but if you purchase, say, two or three, you can mix and match the um, embellishments with the pockets. You don't have to, you know, like you can put embellishments from pocket three with pockets one. If you understand what I'm trying to say. You know, you can just uh, mix and match to your heart's desire. So there's pocket number two. And here's another of my favorites because as you all know, I love, 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 love flowers. So this is pocket number three. Aren't those pretty? I really like this one here. I think those pink roses are beautiful. And basically we have the same pocket. It's just she's put the little 
uh, pull in there for us. You know, in case you don't have a pull punch, she's added the pull for us. So we got four pockets there. And then we have two more pages of embellishments. Pink and green and blue and sort of tannish brownish orange kind of color aren't they pretty so I think these are the neatest things because um, in my way of thinking you could you know um, do up a ton of these you know you can print these multiple times and have multiple pocket combinations and have them ready to go in your stash when you want to make a journal you know so here's pocket number four she just gives you two in this one Isn't that pretty and here's the embellishments for that I really like this one. I like the shoes. <laughs> and I like the hardware. I think the hardware is kind of cool. So there's that one. Here's pocket number five. These are sort of tannish in color sort of a neutral very pretty and then here's your pages of embellishments look at a corset <laughs> little bows I like the polka dotted green bow down here So she just gives you some really nice stuff here. So there's that one. And I'm sharing I'm sharing Tina's digitals again because you know she can tell you what her situation is. Uh, she's got her videos out talking about it. But you just don't get over the kind of problems that she's had you know, overnight. It, it takes a long while to overcome the difficulties she's gone through. And she's not being able to create the, the videos like she used to. You know, she used to create a video for us every day, and now she's, limit, she's had to limit herself to just a few times a week because of everything she's got going on with this problem. So anyway, here's pocket number six. It's green and pink and then here's the embellishments for it to decorate with I love these pink little roses I just love roses in general I love flowers I really love roses I haven't I used to grow roses I don't have roses anymore. I don't, the only flowers I have right now and have had for oh, probably five years or more are annuals that I plant in barrels because of my back being bad. I really miss gardening. But it's just one of those things, you know, as we get older, we can't do what we once did. Just a fact of life <laughs> so that's pocket number six here's pocket number seven oops got them upside down again blue and brown aren't those pretty I think blue and brown is a really nice color combination I had a, a bedroom for my sons when they were small 
that was a real pretty sky blue, well, not sort of a light sky blue. And then dark brown, beautiful woodwork. That was gorgeous. Okay, so here's the envelopes. And here's the decorations. Beautiful, beautiful decorations. I had to change my ink on this one here, my cyan and yellow. These two pages printed out, really weird looking. So, that was pocket number seven. Here's pocket number eight. Greenish colored pocket, green and more green. Varying colors of green. Very pretty. And then the embellishments. Once again, we get several, pa or, well, we get two pages of embellishments. Aren't they pretty? I think they're beautiful. So, um, Getting back to Tina, I've continued to, you know, purchase a few things here and there. I look at her Etsy shop probably at least once a week, and I might stick something in my cart, and then maybe once a month after I've got a few things in there, I make a purchase. But, um, you know, she still needs her support. She's not out of the woods yet. So I just encourage you to do whatever you can to support her, even if that just means watching her videos. Because, you know, not only does that give her an, an emotional support, but it also is going to help her out a little bit financially. So there's pocket number eight. Now let's see what time we have here. Okay, so we still have a little bit of time. I've got to get into my... I mean, I've got, to, I've got to get ready here in a little bit. I've got two appointments this afternoon, and then I have to come back from my appointments and do some work for my, um, my church. I'm secretary for my church, and I've got to do some paperwork. So I have some of these cut out. Well, I have them all cut out. I did somehow or another lose pocket number one. I don't know exactly where pocket number one went to. I can't seem to locate it. It was not with all of these. So um, it's just a matter of trying to figure out which pockets I want to work with here. Let's see. Let's, let's just go ahead and work with that one maybe. Now, I don't know how many of the elements I have cut out. I know I don't have them all fussy cut. Okay, how do I get in the package? Here we go. I know I don't have them all fussy cut, but they're close to fussy cut, so we'll see what we can do here. All right, so now you take your pocket, and I was fooling around folding these the other day, and I'm not real good at folding. I was having a rough time getting them um, straight. So, I don't know how I'm going to, I'm going to remedy that problem. Let's see, what if I do this? Fold here, like that, and then we'll fold over here, like that. That looks straight. That looks pretty straight, I think. And then we'll fold, so we'll fold this up like this.
That's really not straight. Let's see, I think this needs to come up a little more. And then it might be straight. Okay, that's straight-ish. <laughs> that is straight-ish. So, let me grab my scissors here. I think I want to cut a little bit off this one here. bit of a corner off. There. That's better. Okay, now my problem is that up there isn't straight. Let's see about getting that straightened up. Okay, that will do. Okay, so now we put this on a page. We can decorate here and decorate up here if we want. Nice tuck spot or, yeah, nice pocket for a tag. I don't have any tags out, but I do have this little piece of paper here. That'd be nice. This isn't the right size, but you get the picture. So let's see what we've got that we can decorate with. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if it's a good idea to cut this stuff out before t beforehand because I think it's easier sometimes to pick out your pieces when it's still on the page. But then when you're trying to do a video, you don't wanna have to fussy cut everything. This is pretty, maybe. I think I like that. Let's see, maybe stick this over here a little bit. Maybe stick that behind there a little bit. I know there's some smaller pink ones. I saw them. Maybe another pink one would go here. Stick this pink up here. That would be pretty, right?
Let's see if I can find the other one. Aha. Uh -huh. It's in pocket number six. Now, with these little tiny ones, I can hardly see them. So I'm going to be kind of slow cutting these out. Not to mention, it's hard to hang on to them, too. So, what are you all doing today? I think I told you what my agenda is. It's pretty nice here today. I think it's supposed to warm up this afternoon, but right now it's about... Uh, well, what does it say? It says it is... Well, that's my heart rate. That's not the temperature. I don't know if I can find the temperature or not quickly. No, probably not. I haven't figured out how to use this thing yet. Oh, I have a voicemail. I don't think I want setting. I want weather. I guess I'm just not going to worry about it. Earlier it was 68. That was about an hour and a half ago. So I would imagine it's a little bit past 70 by now. Maybe 72 or something. That would be my guess. That's just a rough guess. And it's clear. Skies are beautiful. Looks like it's gonna be a really nice day. I haven't looked at the weather forecast. But I do, I can tell you, we've had an awful lot of rain these past few weeks. And so everybody's yards are green, which is unusual. In July, they're supposed to be brown and crispy around here. But they're all green and lush and beautiful, and everybody's been mowing their yards like crazy. My yard, I have it treated with a lawn care company with fertilizer and they offer eight treatments a year but I only get four I get the I get the winter treatment so that's the last I think I get I get uh, the last treatment then I get the first treatments in the summer because or in the spring because they put crabgrass control down and then the ones that have um, weed killer I think both of those are early spring. And then I get, um, I think I get one midsummer, something like that. So I get four. And although my yard mowing company only mows once a week, they probably could mow twice a week and everything would be probably pretty good. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to distress these elements, which I don't normally do. I mean, I don't always do. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Let's see, that's not the right one here. This is it. 
So, I'm going to get rid of this white here. That always works wonders. So I had them, I've got a, a substitute guy mowing my grass right now. I'm not, I've, ha I've had the roughest time with lawn care companies, but I'm really very picky. I, um, I used to mow my own yard and I like to mow it. I like to keep it a little bit tall. I mean, not real tall. I want it to look like it's been mowed, but so many people cut it like it's a, cut their yards like they're, it's a golf course. And then they end up with weeds in the yard. And I don't like to do that. I don't like weeds in my yard. So I like to keep it a little tall. I like to cut it around three and a half or four inches. I like to leave it that way. And, um, well, most lawn care companies don't do that. They cut it down between like two and a half to three inches. And so they cut it so low that it's sort of brown because it's kind of getting close to the dirt a little bit. I don't like that. And um, then they do a, um, when they trim, a lot of them trim almost down to the dirt. And then most companies have those zero radius mowers, which if, you, if you're careful with them, and you, you know, you ride your mower at a reasonable speed, then they won't tear up your yard. But these lawn care companies are all about speed because the more lawns they cut, the more money they make, right? So I was watching the guy mow my yard yesterday. Now he's a substitute, my normal guy I'm very happy with. It took me a long time to find him though. So. I bet you he was going 30 miles an hour in my yard, or close to it. I, it was ridiculous. It was like he was on a racetrack. And uh, so he's torn up the grass. You know, there's little there's wheel marks where he where he's turned his wheels and he's just ripped up the grass. I'm really aggravated about the whole thing. I had another guy that was doing that. He was try, try, charging me $50 a week to tear up my yard. Well, it didn't take me long to figure out I didn't want to pay $50 a week for my yard to get torn up. And then I found this guy. Well, I had him earlier. And he, he pushed most of my yard. And he's real fast at it. You know, he walks really fast. It doesn't take him that long. But since he pushed most of my yard, it didn't tear my yard up. And um, and he trims nice. He trims to the level of the of mowing. Well, I had him for uh, I think two years, and he's in. I think he's in the Army Reserves. He's also in the National Guard. And he's a fireman. So um, he has to go to National Guard weekends and do Army Reserve training and things like that. And one year, he was either in, <clears throat> he was in one of those countries in the Mideast. I don't know if it was Iraq or Afghanistan or where he was. He charges me $25 a week to push mow my yard and not tear it up, make it look nice. So then after he, le after he was in Iraq that year, or wherever he was, that's when I had the guy that was charging me $50 a week to tear my yard up. And the only good thing about that guy was he also did snow blowing in the winter. So I had him one time, because we don't, we don't get a whole lot of large amounts of snow. It might snow maybe six or eight times here in Indianapolis, but it's usually not more than maybe three or four inches, and then it normally doesn't last, you know, it doesn't stick, stick around too long. Sometimes we'll get like eight or 10 or 12 inches, 
And then, then you gotta really do something about getting it out of your driveway and off your sidewalks. So he was a, I was able to have him snow, snow below my yard, or not my yard, my driveway one, one time, one time. So that was the advantage I had, you know, to him having him tear up my yard. He actually cleared the snow off my driveway. I guess that was my compensation or something. I don't know. So anyway. But my guy right now, my good guy, his name's Todd. Boy, he's a talker too. He's He told me he was in Army school and he had a, a substitute working for him. So I don't know exactly what Army school is, but um, he's in Virginia right now at Army school. And this new guy, he's gonna be there until the beginning of September. Well, I hope my, my yard can survive this new guy. I'm okay about it as long as I don't look at it. As long as I don't look at it. Um, which is kind of difficult to do. I mean, I'm not outside a whole lot, but I am. I do like to sit on my back porch because I got a very nice back porch. It's a screened in back porch. It's carpeted. It's basically sort of like the extension of my house, you know. And I like to sit out there, especially in the mornings when it's cool. I like to sit out there and drink, drink coffee or tea or whatever and maybe read or listen to um, crafting videos or something like that and um, there's this one place wait a minute I want to decorate the pocket first there's this one place where's my good glue don't think I have any good glue out let me go put up a new one. There's this one place in my backyard that every time I'm sitting on my porch, I can see it. And it has, um, it's a low spot. It's right by my, one of my downspouts. And so every time it rains, it's, it stays wet there for a little while. And, um, When Todd was mowing, it was fine. He didn't tear it up. But this guy has mowed, I think, three times, this new guy. And um, he's really done a number on my yard. Each time he's mowed over there, I've had new bare spots. And before, I didn't have any bare spots. So now that you've listened to my lawn mowing woes. <laughs> I um, I try not to let it bother me, but as you can tell, it, it does anyway. <clears throat> so I know I've asked you how you all are, and I know you can't really answer me unless you do comment in my comment section of my YouTube page, the video. And I wish you would. I wish you would comment. Um, see, I wanted to put that label under here. So, yeah, I would like for you to comment. <clears throat> I would like for you to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, I would like for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I think we're going to have lots of fun if, on my page here, my, my channel. That's the plan anyway, to have fun. Plan on making lots of nice videos. I'm going to get started with another journal here soon. I Actually, there's two journals I want to work on. I'm going to finish up the one I'm, I'm um, currently working on for my sister. 
I don't know if I'm going to video any of that, any more of it or not. I think that's on crooked, but that'll be okay. Um, but what I do plan on doing, and I hope I can, is when I give it to her, I plan on videotaping that. Which means I'll have to videotape it at her work. She's a manager for a Dollar General store in a little country town here called Liston. It's about, oh, 30 minutes from me. I like that. It's kind of pretty. I know I said I was going to have to put something on this pocket, but maybe I don't. Maybe it'd be okay. So I like that. I think that's nice. Go ahead and ink up the back. Let's see here. You know, I think I'm going to trim off some of this right here. I don't think I need all this right here. Just kind of in the way. So, I'm going to have to, it'll be a surprise because she hasn't seen it. At least, at least I don't think she's seen it unless she's watched my videos, which she could have. And that's one reason why I don't think I'm going to show any more of it. Because I want it to be a surprise to her. And, um... So, what I'll have to do, though, is I'll have to let her know or ask her, you know, if she could take her lunch and then I will have to come with all my video equipment and um, see about taping her as she opens her gift. So, I think that'll work out okay. I really do. I think it's gonna work out just fine. There we go. Got ourselves a nice little pocket there. And I can just stick that in my stash and it will be ready to go. You know, I've gotten these little, I don't know where I got these little ones at, but I do have bigger ones somewhere. I think they're in my other room. My craft room is in two rooms. Actually, when we built this house, we built a, we have a, we have a basement and So we have a basement, and that was originally my craft room, and it still has a bunch of craft stuff down, well, mostly sewing stuff down there, and my cabinet sewing machine. And um, 
but there's going to be a, t a time when I can't get down there very well. So, I have a small office, which is about the size you would want to at for like a nursery. It's actually a bedroom. And um, I've had to combine... I have a lot of storage in there. I don't do I don't do any work in there. I do do I do my printing in there. I do uh, my computers in there. So I, a lot of times I shop on Etsy on there. Isn't that pretty? I think that's nice. So we can just make up a whole big bunch of these and stick them in our um, stick them in our box for future use. I like that. I may at some point, you know, whenever I use it, put a little tad bit of lace here. Because I do like lace. And I may put a button on here or something. I don't know. We'll just see how, how it turns out. So there's that one. Let's see if we can do another one. How much time do we have? We got about 15, 20 more minutes. So, do we want to new, do another one? Let's go ahead and do another one from this pack, maybe. Let's see what we have here. We have that. We have this. It'd be nice to turn it up. Well, it'd be nice if everything was right side up, right? I think I like that. And then we can put this other little, where did I put it? I'll have to print off some more of these little roses. Well, I've got more little roses over here. I like that. Okay, so we'll do that. Now, right off the bat here, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these up. I'm not gonna use them right now. Actually, better put my lid on my glue. I have a bad habit of le leaving lids off. Yes, it's starting to clog. Not good. Not good. Okay, better. So I really enjoy. I'm really enjoying this this uh, digital. I really think it's a one that I'll use quite a bit because, like I said, you know, you can just build up a bunch of pockets and then have them in your stash to use whenever you want to put it, make a journal. And on this one, I'm not going to put it on a page because I have to go over to where my coffee dyed paper is and get a sheet and I really don't want to do that. This is six. 
This is eight. Because I don't think I've got enough time. All right, let's put these over here. Okay. Let's go ahead and first thing, well, no, maybe not first thing. First thing, I probably should try and fold this. So, try and get it straightish. Well, that wouldn't be straightish at all, would it? straightish. Let's see about getting this one over here straightish. I think that looks pretty good. Yes, that looks pretty good. Okay, this one was easier. As I say that, I'm starting to have a little trouble. Okay. That's good. Okay. So now let's trim these a little bit. So now, let's see, today's Wednesday. Tomorrow I have two appointments also. And Friday, Friday I'm free. So, Friday I hope, hope to be in my craft room all day. Wouldn't that be nice? So I'm not going to I'm not going to um glue these onto anything. I might glue these ends down just so they'll stick, not give me any problems. There's that. And then I'll glue this one down. There. And then I'm going to ink. Oh, come on, needle, pen. I'm going to ink these two corners because I see some little bits of white. don't want any white. I ought to just go ahead and ink the whole thing here. Okay, there's that. Well, may as well keep that open. Now, this, I don't know. If I wanna try trimming off some more of that, 
or not. One thing I do want to do is I want to cut this in, at least in half. Let's see if that's going to work in half. Do I want it to go diagonal? I kind of like that. Okay. Do it that way, I guess. I wonder if I can do a straightish cut. I'm not real good at straightish sometimes. That's not too bad, I don't guess. Okay. There's that. There's that. You know, we could actually even make that a pocket. That could be a pocket. Let's do that. I think this is cute. And then we'll stick this right up here. Over here, I think. Okay, I'm going to trim off a little bit of this. Not a whole lot. But a little. I'm not going to get carried away and get into all those little divots and grooves, I don't think. Just try and cut off most of the white. So I hope you guys do go over to uh, Tina's Etsy and, you know, if you can make a purchase. I'm not, tell I'm not telling you what to do. Please don't think that. I'm just trying to encourage support for her. You know, I think, I think with everything she's done for us, making videos all the time and, you know, showing us how to create. We owe her a little bit of something. And if we can't make a purchase, we can watch her videos. So I'll put her YouTube channel down there too. I just love watching her. I know she's had complaints, I think. People say that she's a messy crafter, but who cares? I don't care. She crafts the way she crafts. I'm not all that neat myself. I mean, if you saw the, my surroundings, <laughs> you'd think I was a messy crafter too. And you may even think I'm a messy crafter without seeing my surroundings. The other day I spilled my, I had a, a little eight compartment box of um, flat back beads and I was trying to straighten off my desk in between projects and I knocked it on the floor. Well, of course it opened up and all my flat back beads went everywhere. And fortunately I had used quite a few of them. There were some colors that I hadn't used simply because I hadn't, you know, found the right page to put them on or element or whatever but they went flying 
and most of them are under furniture. Like I have a rolly cart next to me. I've got two, they're, um, they're like, I don't know what you call them. They're like utility to, uh, stools, like maybe a one-step type stool. I used to have some big house plants sitting on them. I gave the house plants to my sister, so I, now I have the stools and I'm using those to hold crafting supplies. I've got my trimmers and my scoreboard and all that on one. Then I've got um, a stack of baskets with a variety of different types of papers, uh, scrap papers, um, collage type papers, packaging cardboard, <laughs> mail, junk mail envelopes. So I've got them all sorted out into these um, plastic containers. What else do I have over here? Oh, I have my sewing machine sitting on one. And so all of my flat back pearls are underneath those things. So I'm going to have to move all the furniture that I craft around and with in order to get them all cleaned up. Some of them were just under my table here. That's my desk. And so I was able to get those sweeped up right away, but it's gonna take a major cleaning to do that. And I had just done a major cleaning, you know, with sweeping under furniture and stuff. So I thought we're not gonna do that right now. We'll do that later. Next time I do my major sweeping. Okay, I said I wasn't going to trim this so close, but I ended up doing it, aren't I? See, I get started with something and I get into it and forget what I said I was going to do. Oh, and another thing you might notice about me, I don't necessarily call everything the right term. The other day I was calling pockets envelopes. See, I gotta trim this up a little more since the other side's trimmed up nice. I don't really have a whole lot to say today. I'm going to go to my the lady that does my pedicures. And then I have pulmonary rehab after that. Those are my two appointments today. And then tomorrow I have a nail appointment and a pulmonary rehab appointment. And then Friday and Saturday I'm home with nothing but crafting and any type of other stuff I want to do around the house. If anything, we'll see. I do have some laundry I could probably do. But, like I said, we'll see about that. Okay, I think we got just enough time to get this pocket decorated. And we are going to make this a pocket, so I gotta remember that. Let's see, I wanna put this on first. I wanna put it down like that, maybe. see you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna mark this where's my pencil I'm gonna mark this here a little bit there that way I know not to put any that's not what I want that way I know not to put any glue above that mark line which is something I need to help need help with Keeping glue out of where it's not supposed to go.
Well, I don't think that's exactly how I wanted it, but that's how it's going to be. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So... I don't know if I want to... Glue this side down. Or not. Maybe it a... Well, I guess I can glue it if I have to later. I'll just glue around the three edges here. I don't have a very steady glue hand. I watch seven people glue and they can just run that glue down the edges so fast and so even. And I can't do either. Okay, let's get this cut out real quick. Fortunately, it's a little tiny piece because it took me a while to cut out that other one. Which I know, you know, I don't, I don't want to fussy cut while I'm taping because I know that's not what you want to watch. Although, you know, I don't mind watching I don't mind watching Gail fussy cut. I don't mind watching Tina fussy cut. I think they cut a little faster than I do though. I'd like to start doing regular um, Margaret Miller Marguerite Miller challenges and Roxy's weekly challenge on video but seems that when I do those it's like I don't do it all in one one easy process it's usually a couple of sittings because I get interruptions. I'm going to have to figure something out though because I really would like to do that as a regular part of my programming. But we'll see. We'll see if I can work that out. Okay, there we go with that. I think that looks cute. So we got two pieces made and then we showed showed you all the eight pockets so I hope you enjoyed watching the um, Etsy share and creating these two pockets and like I said if you would please like my video comment and subscribe I would be ever so grateful and until the next video you guys take care have a wonderful day We'll see ya. Bye-bye.